Well, you know, he's he's such a quiet, um, unassuming person, you really wouldn't know that he's involved in the community. Sometimes you can go into a room where John is um, very vocally expressing himself on something, and he's the only one in the room that feels that way, but everyone else is wrong. I know John from a variety of connections, one of which is golf. One of the greatest needs in playing golf with John is to have the right equipment. Everybody in our group has one of these. I was fortunate enough to work with John in some of his uh, uh, downtown improvement board uh, projects. And um, despite our best efforts, he has single-handedly um, destroyed the fabric of downtown. I mean, we can't have panhandlers around anymore. We, um, we ran off all the trick-or-treaters. We don't do the Pelican drop. And now I'm really worried that Santa's gonna get kicked off of Palafox. Recently, our community has really been trying to address the problem of panhandlers. They should turn to John Peacock. 16 years ago, John knew it was a problem, and that's why he started the Panhandlers Charity Golf Tournament in Pensacola. My wife and I wanted to volunteer at a uh, golf tournament that was taking place at Marcus Point. We're prim primarily interested in the silent auction. Uh, we were concerned that there really weren't enough items there or the quality of the items. So we took it upon ourselves to uh, hit some local businesses. Since the inception of the PCO, uh, we've drawn in and donated over a million dollars to the local charity. He's uh, so serious about the politics in downtown, he's, uh, he may run for mayor uh, this next election. And he said that he's fine with the huge uh, pay cut that he'll have to take, but that he's a little he's a little concerned about maybe he won't be able to continue taking his three or four vacations every month. So that could be an issue. He got uh, got a little into the panic mode toward the end of July, beginning of August, uh, with the tournament approaching, and literally began to tear his hair out. Because when I knew John, it was quite a few well back to ten years. Uh, we could show you a snapshot of what John looked like when I met him. And of course, as the years went by, the hair started receding a little bit more and it required a kind of a new do. Of course, after that, he became uh, very interested in, in experimenting with something called Rogaine and actually became a member of the Hair Club for Men. I don't think he was on that board of directors. He was just a member at that point. But the strange thing happened was as it receded off his head, it went to the upper lip. One year, I recall, he went up to Pennsylvania uh, to meet some of his hometown crew, and he was going to get some donations from them. And they said, ha, ha, we got you now, John. Uh, we'll donate if you get rid of the stash. He came back clean. Yeah, we're very fortunate to have John in the community. I think that uh, uh, you need community leaders that are willing to, to go out there and, and, and push beyond no. And, and John does that very well. I remember him telling me a story back uh, a long time ago um, about how some people, they, they build a circle around themselves. Some of them build a circle a little bit bigger around their family. And then there are some that just seem to build a circle around uh, themselves in their community and, and that's that's my father, he built, he's, he's built a, a circle that involves most of this entire Pensacola community. When my wife was diagnosed with breast cancer, there wasn't a single week that went by that he didn't call me, check on us, um, you know, drag me out from under my rock so I could be a better caregiver for her. Um, but not a week went by in that whole time that he wasn't generous with his time to make sure things were going okay for somebody else. He says, what he means and, and does what he says, whether people like it at times or they don't. Three or four years ago when they first opened Palafox, destroying gallery nights, he and, and Mayor Hayward actually took it upon themselves to, to push the police out of the way because they were pushing people out of the way and yelled at them and told them they're acting like this is Beirut. And I think ever since then, John has really dialed it back. He's a lot quieter now. Um, he's a lot more patient um, and uh, really just kind of thinks before he speaks. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna hate me.